So I've been laying low for the past two years for a reason. Two years ago, I broke my back, gained a lot of weight, and I went from this to this. I went from having veins the size of pencils to having these doughboy arms. I went from Superman to the blob. And for the past couple months, I've been getting the work in to try to get my old body back. So five months ago, I looked like this. And today, I look like this. First of all, before I tell y'all how I gained and lost all that weight, <clears throat> I want to first apologize to the world for depriving y'all of all this sexy for two whole years. It's gone for two years. The sexy's back. And I'm going to try my hardest to make sure it never leaves again. Let's get to it. Now, I, a lot of people know that I broke my back a couple years ago, but a lot of people don't know how bad it was. Now, two and a half years ago when I broke it, I was paralyzed for a while. After that, I, had to, I couldn't walk. After that, I had to walk with a walker. So, at that point, I was eating a lot of food. I couldn't move, so I gained a lot of weight. And about six months after I broke my back, I decided, you know what? I think I'm good. Let's hit this gym up. Let's try to lose this weight. So I went to the gym, worked out for about a week, broke my back again. Well, I didn't break it, I re-aggravated the same injury. So I'm out again. And after that, same situation, gained more weight. Since I couldn't move and I was still eating, Ballooned up about 80 pounds. And in like six, three, four months after I re-aggravated it, I decided, you know what? Let's give this another try. So, went back to the gym. Two, three weeks, everything going fine. I'm losing weight, getting stronger. I'm thinking to myself, this is it. I mean, the back is fine. Ain't nothing going to stop me. And then out of nowhere, and ah, call an ambulance. Re-aggravated the same injury again. Now at this point, I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I will never work out again. Like this is it. Like I'm done with this. I got, I, I'm, I'm going to live the fat man lifestyle. This is it. It's over for me. My workout days is over. Now gaining weight sucks, but breaking your back really sucks. That'll really mess some things up. So I went maybe 10, 11 months without doing anything. Sitting on my ass. Just eating, not moving. I went to work, but that's about it. And that's it. Didn't work out. I didn't run. I didn't lift nothing. Didn't eat no salads. It was all pizza and cheesesteak and ice cream. So about 10 months after that second break, I was up to 290. When I broke my back, I was 185. And at this point right now, I'm 290. Now at this point, I decided, you know what? I need a second job. So at night, I got a job at this warehouse. We all know what warehouse I'm talking about. If you, work in, if you live in Baltimore, you have worked or know somebody who worked in this particular warehouse. Now, when I got there, they said, can you lift 75 pounds? I didn't think I could, but hey, I wanted the job. So yeah, I said, yeah, I could do it. And when I first day there, they asked you to lift a bunch of heavy stuff. Yes, I was nervous because I thought my back was going to go out, but I lifted it anyway. And when I lifted, no pain in my back. Lifts up even more heavy, no pain again. So I risked it and lift something that was like a hundred pounds. 
No pain whatsoever. When I tell you that I was so excited, adrenaline was pumping through my veins that I wanted to leave that job so fast and go to the gym. That after that day, that night, when I woke up in the morning, when I tell you I ran to the gym, fat flabbing all over the place while I'm running, but I sprinted to that gym. And when I got there, it took me like 30 minutes to actually start working out because the first 30 minutes, I was so excited. I couldn't decide what body part I wanted to hit first. I was in there like, do I want to get the biceps? Get the guns going? Do I want to get the packs? Ooh, the packs. No, the fellas and the shoulders. Ooh, the back. Work my back. The abs. I got to get the abs. First 30 minutes, that was a whole 30 minutes. Just sitting there, just trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And, and that went on like that. But first, here's what made me realize that once I start this up, I really didn't want to quit again. I got on the treadmill, got a light jog going. Then I tried, you know, spring it up, got a good sprint going. And I felt something hit me in my chin. And while I'm running, I kept feeling something hit me in my chin. And then I looked down and realized it was my own titty. What a mess. Now, women, I know y'all go through this, but as a guy, a man booby to the chin will ruin your whole day. And after I took that booby to the chin, I said to myself, never again. Never again. Well, not never again, because I actually have to, first couple weeks after that, you have to lose the weight. And you know, one, but what I was saying to myself, once I shrink my titties back down to pecs where they don't hit my chin again, then never again. And after that, I went home, I looked in the mirror, I, I said to myself, I said, self, your titties are huge. Your stomach is huge. Your rolls are ridiculous. Once we start this up right now, we will not quit. Now, I quit like three weeks later, but it wasn't my fault. What happened was three weeks later, I was passing a kidney stone. And I don't know if you ever passed a kidney stone before, but it hurts like a bitch. You can't do nothing. I couldn't run. I couldn't lift weights. I could do nothing at all. And it's like, at first, I thought that, you know, I just pulled something. Like, oh, I just pulled the muscle. It hurts a little bit. You know, I put some heat on it, take some Motrin. I'll be good in a couple days. But after a couple days, that pain got worse and uh, had to go to the hospital. It took me like two weeks of pain before I realized like I have to go to the hospital. And it was two reasons why it took me so long to go to the hospital. The first reason was, like I told y'all, I didn't think it was anything wrong at first. I thought I just pulled the muscle or something. And the second reason is, I didn't want nobody telling me I'm about to die. Like when I die, I wanted to be by surprise. I don't want nobody telling me, Joy, you got a month to live. Like I wanted to be wake up one day like, oh shit, I died. Came out of nowhere. Hey, what you gonna do? And when I was driving to work one day, when I tell you I was passing out from the pain, from this kidney stone, I had to like swerve into the hospital, the ER uh, emergency room. <sighs> Quick, <sighs> somebody saved my life. So yeah, after the kidney stone, I went like a month and a half without doing nothing. At this point, I'm saying to myself, man, that's strike three. Broke my back, reiterated two times, and now I got the kidney stone. Maybe this just ain't for me. Now I'm definitely done. But then, around the end of August, beginning of September, my older brother got transferred out of state. His job transferred to him out of state. And when we was 
packing his stuff up and he was leaving. I don't know who said it, but somebody said, when you come back for the holidays, I'm going to be in shape. And then he said, yeah, I'm going to be in shape when I get back too. Then I said, well, I'm going to be in shape too. The whole family said it. Me, my brothers, and my parents all said, when we get back, we're going to all be in shape. Side note, I was the only one to follow through with this. It was weird because my brother kept calling me, asking me for fitness advice. Like He kept calling me and said, Joe, what gym should I go to? What protein should I take? What supplements should I take? I'm figuring this nigga getting it in. I'm, I got to go harder because the way he called me, asked me questions, I'm figuring he getting it in. Now I got to get it in. So Thanksgiving rolled around. He couldn't make it because he was working. I was mad I couldn't see my brother. But I was, part of me said, oh, I wasn't ready. You know what I mean? Christmas. Christmas is when I'm going to be ready. Then Christmas rolled around. He showed up. Shut the whole family down. Shut the whole family. The sexy shut the whole family down. They couldn't handle all the sexy. They thought they went into a time machine that brought them back to 2014 when Jordan was a monster. A sexy monster. And after that, now, after that, I still got it in the same way I get it in, like, because, because of the back thing, I don't really lift weights. I do all cardio and calisthenics. If you don't know what calisthenics is, it's weight, it's body weight training, like sit-ups, push-ups, pull-ups, that type of stuff. And when I first started, I was 289. And when I really started, started, it was at the end of August, beginning of September. And four months later, and almost 100 pounds later, here we go. Now, I'm not done yet. I'm trying to get down to 190 before I change my workout plan. Because right now I'm on a high cardio, high cardio workout, low calorie diet. But once I get to 190... I'm going to change that to a, weight, a high weight training diet, a high weight training, high calorie diet for maintaining the weight. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Another thing about this weight loss thing, or about being big thing is now I got to rebuild relationships with friends and stuff like that. Because when I was big, I, was, I flaked on a lot of stuff. Like I, I didn't want to go out. Like, people say, hey, Joe, we going here. I'm like, man, what? Like, what? 300 pounds. I'm not going nowhere. Like, for example, like, every single de Mayo, me and my homeboy Chris and a couple dudes go party for Cinco de Mayo. In the past Cinco de Mayo, I was ready. I was about to go. So I said to myself, what? Man, I'm 300 pounds. I ain't going no Cinco de Mayo. So I stayed in, ordered some Chinese food, ate some cookies, and some ice cream. Hogan dos If it ain't Hogan dos it ain't ice cream. It's just frozen milk. I always wondered why this little pint-sized Hogan dos cost more than the big-ass jar of gallon of Edie's until I tasted the Hogan dos Now I see why that stuff costs a lot. It's the shiz nil. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. What the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. Get, get off topic. Yeah. So yeah, now I got rebuild relationships, whatever. And another reason I made this video, show people, you know, never give up. Don't quit. You know what I mean? I know people my age go through something like, oh, my body hurt, I'm old, I can't do it, this is just it right here. But nah, you gotta realize, I broke my back three times and passed the kidney stone. And I never quit. Well, I quit like 13 times. But every time I quit, I unquit. Is that a word? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, I'm going to use it. Unquit. I'm pretty sure it's in a dictionary. I unquit. And you should unquit too. Now... Made this for my birthday. You know, a lot of people my age, when they hit 30, they be like, oh, I'm 30, I'm sad, blase, blase. But nah, I'm going to enjoy 30. Because 28 and 29 was some bullshit. Being really fat 
and really cripple can really mess a couple years of your life up. But now I'm good. Now I'm good. Use me for example. You know, if you ever feel like quitting, think of me. Look at that picture. And now look at this video. And to end this video on a quote from a wise old poet from the ancient times. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again, try again, 